guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review video for you guys today and it's going to be the Signature Shearling Tilt 22 by Coach. It's super cute, I love the bag. I cannot wait long enough to get the bag in my hands. Uh, I personally, um, the price was, uh, for me it's pretty expensive for a bag like this, but it's real shirling tote. So I think it's worth the price. Um, it retails $6.95 in the US, $8.50 I believe in Canada. And this is what she looks like. She's super cute. I love her. Um, I'm going to be showing you what fits in her today and I'm also going to be comparing her to the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Um, I believe this one retails for $2.50. That's the small. Actually, no, it's not the small. It's the mini. The mini, it's bigger than the coach bag and it has a lot more structure than the coach bag has. So I'll be comparing the two. Um, they both come with dust bags. I already took the dust bag out of the coach one. And I purchased the strap with my own money. I purchased all of these things with my own money, but I purchased the strap extra, the fuzzy strap, because it does not come with the bag. So if you are looking at this video to see which one you should buy for the holidays or for winter, um, that strap does not come with this bag naturally. So just give me a heads up on that. But first I'll show you what fits in the coach tote bag. So I have a few things here. I have like chapsticks that I leave in my bag, um, like Germex and oops, more chapstick that I just usually leave flowing in my bag. Um, I have my keys with my little lemon lanyard. My card case that I've been using because of work. I have my, I just bought these, these are so cute, but they are my coach sunglass case. Thought I'd shove that in there to show you how much it fits. And she's not even stuffed yet, so let me see. Um, this is my little makeup bag that carries more lipsticks and stuff like that. And I think, um, let's see, I have my charging pouch that fits in there as well let's see if it zips up well so she zips up she's a little heavy now um but she holds her shape pretty well she's super stuffed it's cute the way that it sits on your hip and I think it's cute that it has these little arms so that you can just carry it to your side if you want to sorry that it's not in the frame I'll definitely show you what it looks like and little clips um at the end just so that you have an idea um I'm kind of dressed like a bum today so please excuse the outfit but I will show you how all of this fits in the Marc Jacobs tote bag and I will let you decide which one you want. How's everybody's day going? I think I should ask that. I really enjoy having comments in my comment section. So how's your day going? What's the newest bag that you bought? Um, what brand do you like more, Marc Jacobs or Coach? That's something that you can leave in the comments and I will definitely respond if you want to have a little conversation about coach bags or anything like that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It really helps me decide whether I'm going to continue making videos or not. Um, not because I don't love it. I do love making them. I just want to make sure that the videos are hitting the art audience the way I want them to and that you guys are enjoying them and I can continue making them. Hopefully, I want to hit a thousand subscribers so that I can start monetizing the videos so I can start doing giveaways and stuff like that. Um, my dream in life is not to become like a famous YouTuber. It's to give back to the people that are 
giving me love and support, I want to give you love and support right back. If I can start doing $100 giveaways or purchase, purse giveaways, um, that's like the dream in this video. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But anyways, back to this video. I have the Marc Jacobs tote bag. This is what she looks like. She's definitely not, neither of them are soft bags. Let's just get that out of the way. They're not soft bags. This one definitely is more rough than the uh, coach bag. Just in terms of like the way that the material is made. I don't believe this is real anything. I think it's just faux fur. And she's cute. She came with a few scratches on like the plate of this. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on camera. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, but she's perfect for the amount of money I paid. I think she's perfect. I got this strap. I believe this strap was like $150 on the website as well. Um, I personally like it. I just like that it's fuzzy and fuzzy. So that's why I purchased it. And I love the bag and the strap. Um, let's see what fits inside of it. Just so you can see that. They both pretty much fit the same size, size stuff. So I'll start with the glasses, power bank, the extra, oh, that's crazy. Let's see. All these extra little chapsticks I threw in here, my keys and hand sanitizer, and my wallet. Let's see if she zips up okay. Perfectly fine. As you can see, she zipped up. She holds her structure a lot. I will say she holds her structure a lot better than the coach tote. So if you're looking for a structured bag that you can trust and you want to use every single day, this is the bag that you're looking for. If you're looking for a bag that you're trying to just have like a statement piece during the winter months, then you're looking at the coach bag because she is a statement. She's a cute little bougie statement for like younger girls or older women. I personally don't think that a purse should identify what your age is. Like you can't be too old for a purse style. That just does not make any sense to me. Um, or you can't be too young. I think that every purse is for somebody. And if you like it, then bitch go get it. What the hell? We do not need to worry about other people's opinions when it comes to searching for your happiness. So like I was saying, this bag's more structured. It's They're heavy. They're both heavy when carrying this much stuff. But um, I never stuff mine this bad. The power bank, I usually never carry because my phone, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I'm upgrading so that the camera quality is chef's kiss for you guys. But I never carry that. And if I'm carrying chapstick separately, I probably would never carry this. So without those two things, it's already a lot lighter. I probably would never carry this huge sunglass case, just depending on the time of the day, I guess, because you're not going to carry that just for a nighttime event or anything like that. So it's definitely a lot lighter without those two things in it, but it really, it really just depends on you. If you like the style of this bag, it does not matter if it's not bougie enough in your book or not meeting, meeting the standards. If you like the bag, get the bag. Who cares what other people think? Um, if you like this bag, get this bag. Who cares what other people think? If this bag goes on sale, oh well. You got it when you wanted it. And you, it, I mean, if you wanted to wait, you can, but it's not going to go on sale until after the season. So it's going to be kind of like one of those until you wait till next year type of bags. But <sighs> let me stop my rant and care, gather myself. I think whatever bag works for you, works for you. If you want to carry the bag every single day and you don't want to have to worry about getting it dirty or anything, this is the bag. This is the It Girl bag. It's still a cute bag. It's still functional. Cheaper. And I would say the plot for the price, the quality of Marc Jacobs has went up in the last year. Um, they did not come out with these dust bags last year. Because I bought this bag last year and I didn't like it because I got it in black. And I have cats and all their cat hair was getting stuck in it. But they did not come with dust bags last year. And they do this year. So the quality of Marc Jacobs is going up. So you're not wasting your money on something that's not worth it. It's definitely worth it. 
the quality of coach, in my opinion, has been up since the last few years. It's definitely been a change of what they're pushing out and the quality of what they're pushing out. I obviously love coach because I buy all of their bags, but this bag specifically, I just love her. I love that it's different. I love that it's giving like the early 200s vibe with the signature. I just love it. And I was a little kid during the early 200s, so I wasn't allowed to live my life during that time. So now that I am, this bag is definitely cute. I will be carrying her often during this winter. Probably not when it's snowing because I don't want to ruin her, but if it's cold outside and it's not snowing, she will be on the side of my body. So yeah, I hope this video helps whoever wants to make the decision to make their decision. And I hope, I hope you get what you want. I really do. Um, if you have any more questions about these bags, leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't put a thumbs down. That's okay. I just want to know what's hitting, what's hitting and what's not hitting. Um, I want to do more videos where I'm talking to you guys about my life and stuff, but I'm worried that if I get too vloggy, I'm going to lose the people that just want to see bag reviews. So let me know in the comments if you like the vloggy style of me talking to the camera because I don't really have friends and I like to share my life with you guys. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I gave you a pretty good idea on both bags. Um, the color on camera is coming out true to color in person. The C's come out even better on camera, I feel like, than in person just because it's so close to me. But let's see. This one, they're both viewing perfectly. Let's try doing a thumbnail. I put my foot up and there's no reason for it, so yeah. Just let me know if you like these videos. Let me know. I can do like a little vlog style where I'm like taking you to coach, taking you everywhere else I go shopping because I shop way more than just coach. But just let me know. I can go to the outlets. There's a, what's this store called? Mm. One second, let me ask my husband if he remembers. Okay, I got the video. I got the name. So we have a Tory Burch store nearby. We have a Michael Kors store nearby. Well, let me hold up on the nearby. I live an hour away from a coach store. Let's just put that that way. I live an hour away from the coach store, probably an hour and 30 minutes away from Legends Mall, which is in Kansas City, Kansas. So I live in Missouri. So that tells you how far I have to drive for these videos all the effort I'm putting for you guys, which I love you guys if you love me back. So if you don't love me back, then maybe I don't love you. I don't know, but I definitely love making these videos for you. So I have the coach store nearby. I have Michael Kors nearby, uh, Tory Burch. Taylor actually went to Michael Kors store. So now he's selling Michael Kors, which you can go to any outlet and buy Michael Kors, but if you want to shop with Taylor and get the Michael Kors that you want and you're looking for it, and you can ask him honest questions about the quality of those bags, hit Taylor up still. Um, if you're trying to go to coach and you don't have an essay that you like talking to, I have my girl Ari. She's super sweet. She answers all my texts. She'll be texting me late at night about coach bags, and I love that because I have be I be having questions late at night, so she works perfectly fine with me. Um... You can, the Tory Burch store, I'll find an essay. I will find somebody to help you if that's what you want. But let me know if you want to see those videos because I can go to like Tory Burch, Michael Kors, Coach, all on the same day, put a little video up and you'll know what's on sale, what's not on sale, what's cute, what's in, what's popping. So just let me know because I want to talk to you. I be ranting because I want to talk to you. I hope you want to listen to me and I hope you want to talk to me back in those comment section because a lot of you guys be leaving me hanging on those comments but 
I know you like the video because you give a thumbs up, so I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm going to contest. Well, I won't continue my rant. I'll stop my rant here and I'll say once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. And if you want to talk to me about one of these bags or what I should do next for the next video, give me a comment in that comment section and I'll comment you back. And I'll like your comment because I love all my comments. And I truly, I be going to my husband like, oh babe, look what they said, that's so sweet. Because I love your guys' comments. It's sweet, it makes my day. It makes me feel like I'm doing something purposeful. And I haven't had that feeling in a while with, you know, work and stuff. So I have enjoyed this video with you guys. Um, if you're still here, damn, you must really like me talking because this has been over for a while. But I love you guys. I hope you love me back. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to choose one of these videos to watch next. And subscribe because I put it on my screen every single time. And it's probably somewhere right here or right here or right here or right here. Or right here, or I don't know where it is, honestly. But... You know what I mean. Hit that subscribe button if you like it. Bye.